A lot of you may know that I've been getting my real estate license and now that I'm done my last exam, I now have to pick a brokerage, which is usually the fun part. And I mean, picking a brokerage is a lot similar to joining a high school or picking a university slash college to go to. It's a pretty big decision and in this video, I'm basically gonna be vlogging my whole experience from picking a brokerage to what like factors I'm using, what factors I'm considering, and pretty much all that sort of stuff. So in Ontario, you actually need to get a police check, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, so let's go get that done. So in terms of picking a brokerage, I've actually got a lot of help from so many realtors asking their opinions and stuff like that. And actually right now, I'm just about to call my friend uh, Cameron Cassidy, who is an Oshawa realtor, who does similar stuff to what I want to do. So we're going to hear his opinion on what we should look out for. Hey, Cam. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. So I mean, as you may or may not have known, I actually finished my last real estate exam and now I get to pick a brokerage. So obviously I know you are killing the real estate game and I want to just ask you, what is a tip in picking a real estate brokerage? What would you recommend? Yeah, so I know that's a common question for, you know, anybody who's just got their license. Um, you know, it's tough. A lot of these brokerages that you're going to be going around interviewing, um, they're going to promise you the world. They're going to promise you the, you know, uh, awesome training program. Yeah, yeah. Different things. So um, for me, you know, as you know, like I'm, I'm more about, um, you know, your personal brand. Yeah. Um, you know, focusing on, you know, making yourself the person that you're working with, of not course. necessarily the brokerages. The, the big name ones will, will try to, you know, uh, tell you that, you know, it's the broker, just the brokerage where, yeah. you know, I think you would be both realize that, you know, it's the person that you're working with, it's their knowledge. Um, there's lots of training opportunities out there for, um, you know, you to reach out and you to learn. Um, mm -hmm. I know with the, the amount of books that you're reading is a great oh, thing. Yeah. Um, you know, it's on you to read those books, right? Yeah. There's no brokerage that's going to force you to read them. Yeah. Um, so to me, when it comes down to, uh, I look at the, the major tip is what the, what the commission structure is mm -hmm. and what uh, what their fees are. Um, yeah. You know, there's a very high rate of failure for real estate agents. Um, so the last thing you want when you're first starting out is to have pressure on from your brokerage um, by paying, you know, a thousand bucks a month. Yeah, exactly. You know, 30%. Um, to your brokerage, yeah, um, of course, kind of thing. So there, there is a wide range of commission splits and options, and out there for you know for new registrants to uh, to examine. But I would, the big caution I would say is that the big pitch that every brokerage is going to tell you is their training is the best. Their training, yeah. Is I mean, I think one thing that like is like a huge marketing standpoint is we provide leads. Our agents make a hundred k a year. We have the best training, yeah. and I mean. Like, I feel like in training, I feel like it's just, I feel like the only training, and I could be totally wrong, is I feel like I just want to know how to properly write through an APS, and I feel like sales and stuff like that, I feel like it's all online. And you're totally right. I mean, you're, you're going to definitely learn that stuff as you go. Um, you're definitely going to, you know, there's definitely resources out there to, you know, uh, you know submit a contract and, and mm -hmm. do that kind of stuff. A lot of the training that they say they're going to do. Um, is a lot of old school um, direct marketing door knocking bus benches billboards that type of stuff yeah yeah you know put your ads in magazines and stuff and um, you know I can tell you I've done you know the big brokerage trainings and mm -hmm. you know, they're very updated too right yeah so, um, that's the other thing you got to be careful of uh, you know it's an it's an older industry with a lot of um, you know realtors that have been in the game for a long yeah, time yeah the baby boomers not, yeah yeah they're not up to the current you know social um, media you know, yeah, yeah of course don't have Instagram, a lot of them. yeah well I mean Cam I think you gave some awesome tips why where can they find you I mean I know it's Cam Cassidy they can find you there follow you on Instagram YouTube channel yeah Cam Cassidy uh, camera Cassidy real estate for uh, Instagram or for uh, YouTube uh, just Cam Cassidy on Instagram perfect uh, doing a lot of uh, investor focused work so yeah that kind of stuff Oh, well. Exactly. Well, I mean, I guess thank you so much for your help, Cam. Um, is there anything you want to say to my viewers? Any last uh, last message? No, I think uh, we covered it all. Yeah. You're providing the, the valuable content you're providing. In, uh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, you too. Yeah. And, uh, keep doing it, brother. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, Cam. So now I'm en route to a real estate brokerage for an interview. And this is the brokerage that I'm going to be going with. Um, I've done a lot of talking, a lot of uh, emailing other brokerages, people from brokerages, and my mind's pretty much set on this one. And before I actually get there and I actually tell you guys what brokerage that is, 
I have a few questions that I think you should probably ask your brokerage. Because remember, when you go meet a brokerage, it's usually you interviewing the brokerage because you have to ask questions and make sure that that brokerage suits your needs. So here are the questions that I'm gonna be asking. So let's get the obvious one out of the way. Commission splits and monthly fees, that's usually the most important thing. You wanna know how much you're paying per commission or how much the brokerage is taking away from your commission and how much you're paying every month. So again, that's an obvious one. You wanna know exactly what your fees are covering. Does this mean the MLS? Does this mean any marketing, any lead generation? Um, maybe online signatures like DocuSign or something like that. What exactly is this monthly expense going towards? You need to know that. Also, you wanna know if they have any advertising templates like listing presentations, maybe some social media stuff. Do they have any type of templates that you can use that are, that's kind of easy for you to use? You also want to know what type of incentives there are. Are there is there a CRM you can use? Are there open houses that you can hold that other agents may have? Is there training? What type of training? Are there mandatory training? Is there a sales quota? You got to kind of look into all these type of important stuff and make sure that it suits your needs. Other than that, you just want to make sure that the brokerage is a good brokerage. It works for you. It has a nice environment to work in. Remember, you don't want to be in the in the office too often. You want to be out there doing some work, but Again, is the office nice? Is it clean? Is it modern? How does it look like? And yeah, that's pretty much all the questions I've been asking brokerages. And uh, yeah, so I guess we're going to be going over to the brokerage right now. And I guess the big reveal is then. So now it is time for the big reveal. Which brokerage did I join? Did I join Remax? Did I join Royal Page? Did I join Keller Williams? EXP Realty? Which one did I join? Well, here it is. I actually joined right at home realty i hope you guys can see that right there i don't know camera may have not focused but i joined right at home realty here's what they actually gave me so yeah they gave me like some i guess some branding and some stuff like that water bottles and stuff i guess every brokerage does that. i guess that I, I just thought i'd show you guys but why did i pick right at home realty why didn't i pick remax why didn't i pick royal page why didn't i do any of that stuff well the answer for me is pretty easy. Like mentioned, I asked all the questions and I made sure I got the answer to all the questions that I previously discussed. I want to be the brand. I don't want to work for the brand. I don't want people to work with me because I work for Remax. I want people to work with me because they're working with me because that's how you get clients. That's really how you keep a business going. Remember, as a realtor, you're a business owner. You're not just a realtor. You're not a salesperson. It's like literally it's a business and that's how you should treat your business. So right at home realty actually offers very, very cheap monthly fees, very affordable for someone like me who's new and starting out. And they offer a hundred percent commission, which is unheard of. They are the number one brokerage in terms of sales volume. And actually everyone is the number one brokerage in some, in some sort of way. So, I mean, personally, I didn't really look into that. But right at home realty, it just seems to be fitting for me. I know a few people, I know a realtor there and he has actually pretty close with me, Cam Cassidy actually. So I mean, if you knew that, that may have been like a sneak hint or something, I don't know. But yeah, I picked right at home realty. Right now my um, application is going through and uh, I just have to wait, pay some fees and something like that and then I can get started selling in real estate. But I am gonna be doing a series on my YouTube channel called, I guess, Day in the Life of a Realtor, where I literally vlog my realtor day. So me in the car, me doing listings, open houses, whatever that is, kind of like the Ryan Surhan vlog. I'm gonna be doing something like that, I guess the Radice Roger Cullum vlog. Um, it obviously won't be daily, it will be like every now and then whenever I'm doing something interesting. But um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much why I picked Right at Home Realty. Affordable, they are pretty good with, and they understand that personal branding is important. Um, they're also pretty close to the area that I want to specialize in because specializing in an area niching down in the future is very important but yeah I picked right at home and uh, I guess I can I am not officially a real estate agent but I guess in a few days or weeks I will be so yeah I guess that pretty much wraps up this video if you have any questions in terms of picking a real estate brokerage um, anything Aurea related anything Ontario real estate related just let me know leave a comment down below or even better if you want me to respond as fast as possible send me a DM on Instagram because I'm on that like almost 24 7 always posting content always doing stories responding to DMs so a lot of people asking for help over there but yeah other than that I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like down below subscribe make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and other than that I guess I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye